Hi everyone, Luis here from Lowepro. I want to introduce you today to our new Adventura 3 series. This is a classic series for us. And what we've done with this update is to take a look at the new camera sizes that are out there, but also to look at the materials, performance, and the sourcing that we're using to make these bags. So these bags feature our green line label, which looks like a loading bar and shows the percentage of more conscientiously sourced fabrics we've used. The green line for now is just about the fabrics. We are still working on alternatives for foam and for hardware. The Adventuras feature recycled polyester, but they also feature what we're calling solution dyed polyester. This means that we're making the polyester and coloring it at the fiber stage before we make the yarn. Um, and this saves us, it can save us as much as 80% of water um, compared to wet dyeing of a fabric that's already woven. So we're looking really deeply at how to do that, but always without compromising on the performance of the materials. So let's take a look at the bags um, and we'll walk you through each one. So Adventura ranges from backpacks, for your mirrorless uh, or DSLR camera, all the way down into shoulders, TLZs, and even a case. In Adventura's third generation, we're adding a couple of backpacks. We've got a BP150 and a BP300, and the materials are all those green line uh, sourced materials. So we've got solution dyed polyester on the exterior sides, bottom, sides bottom. Um, on the front here, you'll notice coated material. That's a PU coating on a recycled 900 by 600 polyester. That's to resist abrasion and to shed water better. And then meshes and linings are also recycled on these bags. So we've got a BP300. This is clocking in at about 79% on our green line score. And this is a classic front loading camera bag. It's sized for your full frame mirrorless and it'll fit your smaller mirrorless cameras as well. When you get close to this bag, you'll notice immediately Big, beefy, super smooth, number 10 YKK zipper. <laughs> Open that up and you'll see two structural rails. We've got an elastic band here. If you've got a long lens on a camera, you can put it here. Um, this will keep it from coming out. We've got a, an unusual divider here. This is our trap door divider. So this one you can see is devised so that you can stack things inside, pull this little tab, and then put things away easily. So it's just up and down. Super quick way to stack stuff inside your bag. Now, if I'm carrying a smaller camera, sometimes I'll load this grip out. So I'll load it this way because it just fits more things. This is size to fit, obviously, your camera and then up to six sort of lenses and other accessories. If we turn it around, look at the front door. You find our 13-inch laptop pocket, spare memory pockets, and a nice mesh zippered organizer pocket. So looking at the front pocket, we've got that PU-coated material on the front and a quick little access to phone, pens, and key leash pocket. Down here, you'll notice a couple of daisy chains. This is for miscellaneous attached carabiners, uh, attach your jacket, etc. We've got a nice handle here. Pull this out of the overhead bin, pull it out of the trunk of your car more easily. But you'll notice a tripod icon because this is the secondary tripod attach. Primary tripod attach is on this side. Drop your leg or legs of your tripod in the pocket. Uh, this is a removable cam buckled SR buckle. So get this nice and tight around your tripod for a secure carry. But if you are a front tripod kind of person, you can take these off from the hooks and attach it here. Put your tripod right here on the front, two legs behind this handle. Um, it's a dual water bottle pocket bag. So you've got that same pocket. You could put your tripod on this side. Um, same pocket over here for water bottle and it's a, a nice way to carry. Harness is a gently contoured shoulder strap. Nice pad with a uh, 3D mesh on the back couple of utility straps, and we've got a stabilizing uh, waist strap here, 25 millimeter side release. BP150 is gonna clock in at around 82% on our green line score, solution dyed and recycled materials. And it's a similar idea to the 300, but it's a different gear layout. So this is a 40-60 split. Bottom half is a secure access, back access, to a smaller camera kit. So if I open this up, I'll find one big rail and a series of dividers. Again, I've got that trapdoor divider so I can stack things if I want to. Uh, this will fit your smaller mirrorless cameras. It'll fit some full frames too. Um, and on the door, we've got just the memory card pockets there. While we're on the back, we can note that it's basically the same back. It's got the mesh slightly raised on either side, gently contoured shoulder straps with a couple of utility loops. Flipping it around to the front, you'll see that we've got the same kind of quick organizer pocket on the front. Pen phone, key leash, coated materials, daisy chain and handle. There's no front tripod attached on this one. It's just on the side. So you've got that same cam buckle, side release, one or two legs of your tripod into this pocket. We do have the dual water bottle pockets on this guy. And then the top is your general space. So whatever you want to put in this open zone, we've got a 
mesh organizer pocket in the back. And in the front, we've got a little space for like an 11 inch tablet, or there's some two in one devices, Surface Pro kind of things that will also fit in there pretty nicely. So this is lighter and faster than the 300, but both of them are really, really cool backpacks. So Adventura 3's shoulder bags are pretty easy to understand. We've got a secure top access. Faces you when you're wearing the bag. And we've got that ruggedized bottom. We've also got our coated 900 by 600 d polyester. This coating is a polyurethane that helps to keep water out and it helps to resist abrasion. We talked about the solution dyed materials. That's on the sides and the back. And that's that water saving dye technique. The bottom, it gives you grip and it gives you stability. And that's now done in a PVC free thermoplastic. Some more shared features in the shoulder bags include the padded tube webbing handles, the removable shoulder straps with the swivel snap hooks. And then on the back side of all of these, we have belt loops. So they've either got one belt loop or two belt loops, depending on the width of the bag. So you can put these on your waist. All of these also have a mesh pocket on the side for lens caps and other small items. The shoulders range from 82 to 85% recycled content. Um, and that's exterior and interior. The interiors are recycled. And take a look inside. You'll see that the 115 and the 120 are narrower bags. They've got one divider. These are set up to carry a camera and a lens and another accessory, maybe a lens, probably something like a charger. One divider inside there, one organizer pocket for small items, and one spare memory card pocket. The 140 and the 160 are wider, and that's so you can add more items. You're going to put a camera body, one or two lenses, and charger, etc. So to do that, we have more dividers. And when you want to fit more dividers, we have more places to put them. These are fully Trico lined on the front and the back, so you can put those dividers anywhere you want inside. So the TLZs are the same feature set. We've got side pockets, two webbing handles, that same secure top access. The primary difference is that they taper. So this is the most efficient way to carry one camera and one lens. Open these up and you'll still find memory card pocket, removable shoulder strap, and one organizer pocket inside. And then when we talk about the sizing for these, the same idea as the shoulders. We have one that's deeper for your full frame mirrorless and one that's shallower for your crop sensor mirrorless cameras. So we've also got a pouch. The CS20, sized for your premium point and shoot cameras or your vlogging cameras. One zipper, ruggedized bottom, PU coated front, belt loop. Uh, inside, you'll find one organizer pocket. And at the moment, I've got my removable shoulder strap in that pocket. And we've also got in here the ZV1 as an example of what's a great fit in this case. So there we have the new Adventura 3 Series. We're really happy to bring such rugged little bags with so much recycled and water saving content to market with low pro durability. And we firmly believe that bags that last longer and are sourced better are a right step in the direction of a more sustainable way to carry your gear. Check out the Adventura bags at lowpro.com.